So hey there YouTubes. This is to make a few notations to Venom Fang X on his video on the first grader who basically shoved a rainbow flag in a uh, preacher's face. The thing is, I was there. And actually I was one of several people who were free hugging and spreading love while that homophobic preacher and his gang were spreading hate. And actually earlier, I don't know, 15 probably maybe an hour before that kid actually stood up. I actually had to run off and go to work for a bit. Um, that same preacher was, call was pointing to me and saying, this homosexual woman's going to hell. Or the equivalent of that. So I naturally started screaming, I love my girlfriend. And okay, that festival was not Columbus Pride. It took place in Columbus, Ohio, um, where that first grader stood up to the homophobe. But that was not Pride. That was Comfest, community festival. A festival that's been going on a lot longer than Columbus Pride and happens to take place the weekend after um, Pride Fest. And why were there so many rainbows? And why was there a lot less tolerance for these guys than usual? Well, the Supreme Court had just laid down marriage equality. Um, was that kid influenced by homosexual parents? I don't know. But I can tell you this, those street preachers were being very rude, and I've stood up against them three years in a row, free hugging. First year that I actually did it, there was up to 13 cops surrounding the homophobes, not me. As I free hugged and spread love and warmth, um, and actually, at least in the last three years, I'm not the only one who stands up. Usually other people will grab signs and start free hugging around just to spread that warmth, to incorporate them in love and warmth rather than to me. And so that their homophobia and their hate and their bigotry gets blocked out. Frankly, I think these guys have, a, have their panties in, in a twist over the fact that everybody's out there having a good time. Because that's what Comfest is. It's music, it's art, and it's people having a good time, respecting each other, showing peace and love, and freedom. So, now that homosexuals are allowed to marry, will they save it for marriage? Give or take the person. There are so many gay positive churches, I have very little doubt will probably influence some of their LGBT youth into saving it for marriage. Hell, um, I was hell bent on saving it for marriage until I was 21 and, well, was in a bad relationship. With a woman, by the way. But I'm, here I am, still gay. My significant other, Silver Wolf and I, who is a woman, um, have been dating for two and a half years, and while we have no intention on getting married anytime soon, we probably will, I don't know, three or four years from now, we both want to have good standing, and we both want to really know each other before we engage in that. Um, but the thing is, is that, why does it matter? Two consenting adults engaging in a consensual behavior that's what love is. How is that different from pedophilia? Well, apparently, you don't know the difference between consent and non-consent? Boy, I would not want to have my children around you, dude. Or bestiality. The issue is, is that you're not acknowledging consent. Consent. Hi, I'd really like to make love to you. Sure, that sounds really good. Let's make love. Woo! That's why homosexuals are equal to heterosexuals, or bisexuals, or any combination of. Because it's a matter of consent. And if you do not acknowledge consent, then you are an effing monster. I cannot be more proud of that little buckeye. That beautiful child. She stood up to these people. Be it her parents encouraged her or not. But literally, she just stood there with a rainbow flag in that guy's face as he preached and squawked and screamed at her. Columbus, Ohio is actually one of the most gay-friendly gay friendly parts of Ohio. It's part of the reason why I came to Columbus and that why I've proudly lived here for almost five years. I came from the cornfields and, well, you know what religion does? Religion causes an 18-year-old to slice up their skin. I have scars all over the left side of my body because of the homophobia and the bullshit and the religious intolerance that I went through because of Christianity. So, 
those are just a few things I wanted to say. If anything, thing X ever actually sees this, good for him. If he doesn't, yeah, well, I got another video on YouTube. Peace out.